So for these cheap motors I bought, the uh, downside to the cheapness of them is they don't come with motor plugs attached already. And I thought, well, I'll just buy the plugs and uh, then I'll be fine, right? So I bought some of the plugs and everything you need, but it's such tiny handwork to crimp them. I was having such a hard time and I have really shaky hands. So um, until I learn how to do that better, all I've been doing is buying a pile of these JST pigtails here, I guess you could call them. Um, but anyway, this is the plug you need, the two pin JST micro plug for the motors. So I trim them around here and then connect them to the motor wires with some shrink tube. Uh, and then uh, it's good enough for me. One more uh, fail safe I've noticed is on these motors, if one of your wires on the bottom comes disconnected, you're pretty much screwed. It's very sensitive overall. It's not terrible, but after, you know, fiddling with them a bit, it can come out and then you can never solder it back in. It's very, very difficult anyway. So what I do is I press the, the wires to the side like this and then hot glue them into that position and kind of relieve that stress point. So then when I'm twisting wires and adjusting things and moving everything around, it's not putting any pressure on that, that part of the uh, motor. So I'm just gonna do that first and then do some solder. So my motors are ready and here's my layout. Uh, if you're new to quadcopters, uh, you have to just keep note of the counterclockwise versus the clockwise and where they're supposed to go. So you can pause it here and check it out with your motors. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the color coding is kind of universal for these motors, but you should still check with the, with the page of whatever place you buy the motors and make sure that their blue and red are clockwise and their black and whites are counterclockwise, just to be sure. So these motors are just friction fit and I put them about halfway in so I have enough sticking down to be kind of like a landing leg. <laughs> Be sure to twist up those motor wires and then when you throttle up you're not going to get video interference. So check out the next video and you'll see how I'm going to throw all my video gear on here, my camera and transmitter and stuff, uh, almost ready to fly.